Hello everyone, my name is Calista and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, you already know what's going to happen. We are trying Taco Bell's new quesalupa and their potato items are back. I feel like I've been waiting for this moment for so long. Oh, we're also going to try this fun freeze. Okay. I'm just going to open this. Also, my dog is here. Say hi, Andy. 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 Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. They took away the potato items, I think around the time the pandemic started, just because of, I guess it was maybe difficult to have a larger menu during that time, but they finally brought them back in March. They came back, I think maybe a few days ago. So we have the cheesy Fiesta potatoes. And then we also have the quesalupa. And then we have the spicy potato soft taco. Let's look at these. I'm so excited. Ooh, okay. We'll just get a nice close up. So you can see these are the cheesy Fiesta potatoes. They're basically just their potatoes, but they have the nacho cheese and sour cream. Aw, my dog wants some. Here we go. Mmm. Oh my gosh. This is so good. I love the potatoes. Mmm. Wow, this is so good. This might be a surprise to those of you watching, but I have never tried their Fiesta potatoes before. I've had their potato soft taco, and I love that. It's so good. It's only a dollar, and I've never tried these before. Mmm. And everything I got today, the total was only a little over $7. It's also because I'm, I came during happy hour, so the freeze is only a dollar. But this is a good amount of food for only $7. Mmm. Can I have a bite? And if you're wondering, I am back in California for a week. It's spring break for the school that I work at, so I decided to come back, see my family, see my dogs, and see a few friends safely. I am fully vaccinated now, so it does make traveling a lot less intimidating. And I'm in my mom's minivan because <laughs> I don't have a car. In California, my car is in Hawaii, so if you're wondering what this car is, very spacious. I hate driving big cars, but the minivan I guess I'm kind of used to it at this point. We've used this minivan to like move me into college, move me out of college. So she's been through a lot with us. This is also the car that we always took road trips on as a family when my sisters and I were younger. Mmm. So good. We'll come back to these before I eat the two tacos. I'm really excited for the quesalupa. I got the one with black beans inside of beef obviously because I'm vegetarian and I'm super excited it's actually so exciting that I could basically order everything that I got today without getting any modifications or substitutes I feel like that's why Taco Bell is so great you know they just have so many options for vegetarians and then even vegans if you just don't get cheese or sour cream okay And here's the quesalupa. So the quesalupa is basically the chalupa shell, but then they wrapped it with a quesadilla, so a tortilla and cheese. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. I feel like this is gonna be so messy. I'm laying this out on my lap. So you can see, I got the black beans. So you can see, oh, piece of lettuce just fell. Black beans in there. Ooh, okay. 
So you can see that the cheese on the edge is like crispy looking. And then inside, that's what it looks like. I hope you can see. I'm trying not to spill everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna take a bite. I'm gonna take a bite without the hot sauce first. Mmm. Wow. Okay. Well, first of all, I normally don't get black beans. I normally get the just normal refried beans and substitute that instead of beef. So I actually really like their beans. This is good. Their black beans are flavorful. They're really flavorful. And then mine didn't really have that much of a crunch. I watched some videos of other people trying this and theirs had a crunch. So mine's definitely softer, but maybe it just wasn't on the press as long, but it's good. Trying not to spill everywhere. Bruh. Okay, now we're gonna try some hot sauce because I think the thing is like this has cheese, obviously it has the beans, the tomatoes, the, is there sour cream? Oh, there is sour cream and lettuce, but there's no other sauces added, I don't think. The hot sauce is my favorite one. I've tried all of them. The Diablo is like, it's good. Surprisingly, I can handle it, considering I think that is the spiciest sauce they have, but I just don't really like the flavor as much. And then the mild one's okay. It's kind of boring, but I'll still eat it. Okay, another bite. Oh. Mmm. I like it. You know, I feel like before I wasn't a huge fan of the chalupa. I just didn't really like that. I just didn't like the chalupa for some reason. But now I like this a lot better with the cheese. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it might have nacho cheese too. I'm not sure. Mmm. like this. I'm actually surprised that I like the chalupa, but that's exciting. Mm. I also like this container. I don't know if they normally use this for the chalupas, but you can see it's catching everything that's spilling out from the other side, which I appreciate. I'm not trying to spill everywhere. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try and scoop. Scoop some of that. Hmm. If you're already someone who likes the chalupa, I think you're going to absolutely love this. And if you're someone like me who is kind of indifferent towards the chalupa, I think you should give this a try because I rate this like a an 8 out of 10. It's fun to eat. Last bite. Mm. So this one, usually, I think it's more like, you can see the clear blend of the frozen wild strawberry and then the lemonade. But this one, it kind of all blended together. So you see mostly strawberry. I wonder what this name is actually supposed to be. All right, so this is this wild strawberry lemonade freeze. And because I got it during their happy hour, it was only a dollar, which was pretty exciting. 
Okay, we'll mix her because she's kind of separating at the bottom. Hmm. If you hear that sound, it's because I, I cracked the straw at the bottom. Ooh. Oh gosh. I actually don't think I've ever gotten the wild strawberry freeze on its own. I usually just get the Baja Blast freeze because that one is my favorite. But I like it with the lemonade. Yeah, this is really good. It just reminds me of summer. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Now we're going to try the spicy potato soft taco. And this is one I've actually ordered in the past just because, one, it's only a dollar. Like, that's a pretty good deal to me. It's only a dollar and it's vegetarian. So super easy for me to order. No need to substitute anything in here. Okay. So this, oh gosh, it's gonna, I don't want this to spill everywhere. So we're just gonna, oh. Okay. Here we go. This is what it looks like. It has the, oops, I'll clean that. You can see it has the potatoes. It has the cheese, lettuce, and then the chipotle sauce. So it is pretty simple. You know, it's only a dollar, so they're not gonna put a bunch of crazy extra stuff in there. But I think once we add this hot sauce, it'll be perfect. I'm so excited the potato items are back. I've been waiting for this since they announced it in like January. I've been waiting months for this. And I think Taco Bell, if, I rem if I'm remembering it correctly. Oh my gosh, I can't even talk. If I'm remembering correctly, they are also getting, I think, Beyond Meat. I think they're getting some sort of fake meat alternative at Taco Bell. I don't know when that's going to happen. Maybe, you know, in March or maybe they're waiting for that one. But if that actually happens, that's going to be a game changer. Because I feel like I do kind of miss, like, the fake, well, not fake, but the very artificial, like, ground beef <laughs> that Taco Bell has. So, okay, let's give this a try. Another close up if you can see it. Okay. Mmm. Oh, this is good. Can see that I think the main thing about this is that it just has the chipotle sauce I think that's a very important component to this otherwise it would be a bit plain although the, the potatoes are good the potatoes are flavorful I'm just gonna roll it like that oh hmm Oh no! He just dropped a potato. Okay, I'm gonna hold this closed. It's easier to eat if you roll it like this. Mmm. I also have to pee, so if you see me shaking, it's because I'm like bouncing my leg because I have to pee. But we are still taking our time to enjoy these. Mm. Okay. Yay, that was good. Mm, my nose is running. Are you excited for the potato items to be back? Because I am very stoked about it. Okay, we're going back to these cheesy Fiesta potatoes. Mm. 
These just really remind me of like a breakfast item, you know? I feel like seasoned potatoes just reminds me of, what's that word? Potatoes O'Brien. Yeah, that's what any, that's what these remind me of. Potatoes O'Brien, just, you know, heavier with cheese and sour cream. Mm. But I liked it. Yeah, something I've never tried is the Taco Bell breakfast. I wonder if it's good. I feel like it has to be good. It might just be, you know, like a normal breakfast item, but has that Taco Bell twist with like seasonings, maybe? If you're interested in me trying the Taco Bell breakfast items, let me know in the comments and also comment your favorite thing to get from Taco Bell because I'm curious. I feel like I usually gravitate towards my same Crunchwrap Supreme, but every so often I like to branch out and try something new and I'm so glad I did. Like this is so cute. It comes in just a little container, so easy to eat. Mmm. Yeah, but let me know what your favorite thing to order from Taco Bell is. Mmm. It's really good. My sister, one of my sisters, Gabby, if you've seen any of my other videos, it's Gabby. She got her first dose of the COVID vaccine today, which is super exciting. She was able to get it because she's a student employee at her college. And my mom, she got her second dose of the COVID vaccine. My mom got Pfizer. Gabby got Moderna, which is the one I did. Which is so exciting. I feel like there's really a light at the end of the tunnel. You know? Even the potatoes by themselves, like the ones that don't have as much cheese or sour cream, they're still good and nicely seasoned. But I still prefer it with lots of sour cream and cheese. I love the Taco Bell nacho cheese. Mm. For the spicy potato taco, I give it, like, alone, I would give it $6. No. It's not what I meant. Alone, I would give it six stars, a six out of ten. But because it's only a dollar, I give it like 7.5 because that's such a good deal. A dollar for a taco. Especially if you like potatoes. Especially if you are a fan of the Taco Bell potato items and or you might be vegetarian. It's a good deal. And then these, I give like a, like an eight. Yeah. They're good, they're easy to eat, and they're just a nice side item. I give this an- I also give this an 8 out of 10. I'm pretty sure I've given everything basically around an 8 out of 10 so far, but that's because they're all pretty solid items, you know? Like, I can't complain, I really can't. He's sleeping. I've just been bringing him around everywhere with me today because I love him so much and I want to spend as much time with him as I can. So I basically took him on a walk already. I took him with me to get coffee with one of my childhood friends and he was chilling. So thank you so much for watching. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up and also comment your favorite thing to get from Taco Bell. Yeah, I'd love to know what your order is, what your go-to order is. And also subscribe so we can continue this fun Taco Bell mukbang journey together. I do film other videos, but if you're here, you probably love Taco Bell just as much as I do. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye. See Jane